Well, I'm Abigail Truitt. Uh, I'm the Director of Disaster Preparedness and Response for the National Critical Care and Trauma Response Centre in Darwin, Australia. So at the moment we're inside our warehouse, so we have Australia's emergency health capability based here in Darwin and I'm sitting in front of one section of our field hospital which is our operating theatre. So you're inside our operating theatre, so at the moment we have one bed uh, set up in here but we can put two operating tables into this facility. This facilitates a 28 tonne field hospital. Uh, which is a surgical field hospital. It, it's built into uh, containers and ways that we can carry it and move it. It's pop and play, this is the point. We had a visit from uh, SBY, the former president of Indonesia, and he described our region as the supermarket of disasters. And I think he's probably correct. If you start to look at our region at the moment, you know, we have volcanic activity, we've got earthquakes, we're coming into cyclone season. So disasters is part of where we live. With climate change, I think you will see more. We need to have a facility that we can build really quickly because when you arrive in a disaster, people have already been potentially waiting for help. All teams that go in now to a disaster have to be self-sufficient. So that means for two weeks, we need to look after ourselves so we're not a burden to the host country that we're visiting. The way a field hospital is constructed is we go in to provide support to the uh, Ministry of Health that's asking for that assistance and the type of um, medical care that we then provide is based on what was there before us. Not leaving a gap behind is really important. One of the, the unique parts of the centre is that um, we spend a lot of time capacity building and working in our region. And we do that to strengthen relationships because in disasters that's what's really important. The ethos of OSMAT is to really ask the question, what do you want? What do you need to the country we're responding to? Uh, we've also deployed to uh, Vanuatu, Pakistan, Philippines of course, Solomon Islands. So many responses on average about one a year and they vary from uh, traumatic uh, natural disasters through to communicable diseases or slow onset type disasters. And then of course uh, the Bali bombings for us were pivotal moments, they're pivotal moments in Australian history as well and I was part of a very small part of uh, responding to that locally here. I think Osmat is an amazing capability. We can build uh, the capacity of our neighbourhood to respond to those very large catastrophic disasters.